originali. Bentornati a Lingue Originali e nello specifico alla puntata del venerdì sera dedicata alla lingua inglese. Grazie a Marco Piovaz abbiamo imparato a conoscere Alan Bennett. Alan Bennett è nato a Leeds, nello Yorkshire, nel quartiere operaio di Harmley. Figlio di un macellaio, dopo gli studi secondari, ha vinto una borsa di studio ad Oxford presso l'Exeter College, dove si è laureato in storia e dove è rimasto per diversi anni come ricercatore e docente di storia medievale, finché non ha abbandonato il mondo accademico per dedicarsi al teatro. Di Alan Bennett, dalla voce di Marco Piovaz, stiamo ascoltando alcuni monologhi estratti dalla raccolta Talking Heads. In questo episodio, la seconda parte di The Hand of God. Buon ascolto, il microfono a Marco Piovaz. I said, am I a person? She said, come again, love. I said, am I a person? Or am I simply a professional bargain hunter? because that was what she was implying. I said, I've been coming here as a friend. She said, I know that. Bright red cardigan, carmine lipstick, and at the funeral, leather trousers. Even Nancy had managed to find a skirt. Niece. She'd never even met Miss Ventris. Went to Canada at the age of six. Mabel had given me to understand she'd died in an airline crash. Turns out what she'd had was a hairline fracture, no crash at all. And of course she comes in for everything, which is understandable, except that no sooner does she see the place than she announces that aside from one or two of the choicest pieces which she'd be keeping for herself, she'll be sending the rest to Phillips. I said... Mrs. O'Rourke, I'm sure there are several local concerns who would give you a very good price and you wouldn't be lended with the vendor's commission. Turns out she's not paying much commission anyway, as the stuff is of such good quality she'd come to an arrangement. It was then she offered me this box of odds and ends from the desk drawer. I'd been very kind to her aunt, she said, and she wanted to give me a bit of something in return. I said... Thank you very much, but I don't want to be given anything. She said, that's good, because with the solicitors being such sticklers, I probably ought to charge you a nominal price anyway. Then it's all legal and above board. Shall we say five pounds? I said, I don't sell bric-a-brac. She said, well, if you give me five pounds and it fetches more than that, you can give the rest to Oxfam. I said, what do you do in Canada? She said, public relations. I said, oh, pointedly, you must be on holiday then. Gave her five pounds, took the box and went. Of course, being Canadian, she probably thought I was being nice. I haven't been able to face unpacking the box. In fact, I've only just done it now, much as I expected. One or two pressed glass ashtrays that I can get two pounds or three pounds apiece for a little gunmetal cigarette case and a serviette ring, all of them items for the Ottoman's box. The only thing of any interest at all is a rather smudgy drawing of a finger. I think it's a drawing, it may be a print, but the frame is very distinctive, quite small, but with little doors that open, so it looks a bit like an altar, 19th century probably. When I've got a minute, I'm going to take the drawing out and put something a bit more conventional in, a flower print or something. Smarten it up a bit. Might fetch 30 or so, you never know. Funny little thing to put in a frame, a finger. I think the refectory table's gone. Came in this morning, only young, curly hair, can't have been much more than 20. I said... Was he looking for anything in particular? He said, well, he did want a little present for his girlfriend, but he was interested in the refectory table. Didn't begin by asking the price, which is always a good sign. Just said, could I measure it for him? While I'm brooding about looking for a tape measure, he picks up one or two bits and pieces. I'd brought Miss Ventris's little drawing out, thinking I could spend the afternoon taking it out of the frame, 
and I just popped it down on the refectory table where he picks it up, then puts it on the side so he could look more closely at the tabletop. When I'd measure it, he got underneath and had a proper look. There was a bit of worm, but in a piece that age it would be unusual if there wasn't, and anyway we both thought it was dead. So he said, what was the best I could do? I'd given 1100 for it a year ago, so I said, well, I can't do much under 1700. Says 1650, it's Elm. He said, I know, it's beautiful. If it fits, it's just what we're looking for. So I give him my card and he writes down the measurements and he's going to ring back this afternoon. Just as he's going, he picks up the drawing again and says, what's this? I said, well, it's a finger, isn't it? He said, yes, I'm not sure I like that. Though it's a nice frame, how much is it? I thought, well, it's an educated voice, I'll take a chance. I said, I can't really do it much under 100 pounds. He put it down pretty smartish. I said, the frame alone worth more than that. He said, yes, it's the frame I'm really interested in. I reckoned to look at my book. I said, well, I can do it for £90. And if you're not particular for the drawing, I can take it out. He said, no, don't bother. I can do that. And just then somebody comes in and he writes me out to check really quickly. I wrapped it up and said, and you let me know about the table. He said, what? I said, the table. He said, ah, yes, I'll phone you this afternoon. I think it'll be just right. I've just pop along to the bank and put the cheque in, and now I'm waiting for him to call. It's funny I'd come down to 90 pounds, but he was in such a rush, it still made it out for 100 pounds. A lingue originali, Marco Piovaz ha letto per voi in lingua inglese. Lo ritroveremo su Caffè Italia la prossima settimana, venerdì, sempre alle ore 22. Ma Lingue Originali è in onda anche il sabato con Nadia Meroni, con la lettura in lingua tedesca, e la domenica con Barbara Marchand, per quella, in lingua francese. Vi ringraziamo per l'ascolto e vi diamo appuntamento a Lingue Originali fra sette giorni, sempre su Caffè Italia, la radio e il podcast dalla Roma italiano, e non solo. Lingue originali